when Nairobi Governor Johnson Sakaja announced mid last year that is the year 2023 that he launched an initiative in the entire Nairobi County that consisted of a food program that would benefit children across public primary schools in Nairobi County. It came with excitement and a relief to most parents. You see, when one visits a public primary school, students attending the institution come from different backgrounds. Some come from well-off families, some middle-class families, and some from the humble background. Dishina County, feeding the future of Nairobi, came with pomp and color. The main agenda of this initiative was to make sure students attend school on full stomachs at a small fee of five shillings daily that's payable through the M-Pesa platform. Dishin Accounting is a program initiated by Nairobi City County Governor Honorable Johnson Sakaja that ensures the provision of a nutritionally balanced hot meal in school every school day for all children in public primary schools and early childhood development centers better known as the ECD centers. The initiative is powered by Tap to Eat. So, what is Tap to Eat exactly? Well, Tap to Eat is a watch that every student in the public facility uses to access the food program initiative. A student is allocated a yellow watch which has initials of Tap to Eat program. During lunchtime, the students queue with their plates and one of the dish in a county representatives scans the watch with a device a size of a smartphone which automatically shows the parents phone number the name or names of the child or children registered under the that particular phone number as dependents then it proceeds to deduct that day's lunch cash per child still depending on the number of children registered per that one particular number. For example, if you have two or more children in that particular institution, each one of them has been allocated that specific tap to each watch and one, and one goes to be served his lunch, it scans and deducts per child. The food is prepared in a central kitchen every day, making it fresh and as per the recommended safety standards, every meal served in the institution is made to ensure your child has the recommended nutrients, that is protein, carbohydrates, and vitamins to boost immunity and support healthy growth and development. This program was to, was to start late last year during third term, but a few schools within Nairobi region had started having the food program in their learning institution. But as 2024 clocked in, all schools in the Nairobi county had the initiative in full operational in the county of Nairobi. Most parents were struggling to place a meal for their children for them to take to school, as most students come from needy families. The program has helped many parents as students can comfortably go to school to learn, play, and have a balanced diet, not only for them to focus on their education, but it helps their bodies in fighting diseases. Governor Sakaja has made a major impact in students' lives, but the million dollar question that I have been asking myself is, who really came up with the tap to eat idea in the first place? Well, I came across a certain story of a certain bright lady by the name Mawiran Jiru, who is a Kenyan entrepreneur, a nutritionist, and philanthropist. She serves as the executive director for Food for Education, an organization that serves a hot, nutritious, and affordable school meal to over 33,000 public school children in the urban and peri-urban areas of Kiambu, Nairobi, and Mombasa counties. Wawiranjiro grew up in the, in the town of Ruiru in Kiambu County, immediately northwest of the capital city of Nairobi. 
She attended local schools for her primary and secondary education. In 2010, she was admitted to the University of South Australia, where she graduated with the Bachelor of Nutrition Science degree. In 2012, while pursuing her undergraduate degree at the University of South Australia, Jiro hosted a Kenyan theme fundraising dinner where she invited 80 guests, charged them $20 per plate, and managed to raise the equivalent of 126,000 Kenyan shillings. With these funds, Food for Education was founded. She, found, she, she set up a makeshift kitchen in Ruiru Primary School, whose outreach was to, was to an initial 25 children for a start. This was followed by several internet campaigns. Over time, the number of children in the program increased immensely. According to Njiru, it cost 30 shillings per day to provide a meal to a primary school child in Kenya. The guardians and parents were asked to contribute 15 bob shillings. Food for Education provides a subsidy to cater for the remaining cost. The organization uses a hub and spoke system whereby meals are pre prepared in central kitchens, better known as the hub, and distributed through systematized logistics to schools. Their technology centered approach allows parents to pay $0.15 meal via mobile money and primary school students enabled with smart watches connected to a virtual wallet that allows them to tap to it in just five seconds. So how did Nairobi County and its stakeholders come together to achieve a successful vision for public primary schools with this amazing food program? So one of the decisions made was to ensure